from Angie's Creative Studio. Today we are going to do a little easy landscape watercolor. I've just got my five and a half by eight and a half um, mixed media pad from a Hobby Lobby, uh, the Master Touch. I do love these. I mean, I have got nearly this one full. I've got another one ready to go. <coughs> get my table wet. Anyways, we're going to just do a little simple um, um, landscape on on this. I'm using my wool and lang, lang nickel watercolor that I got for Christmas. I do like these for the price. I love these things. So I'm just going to draw some mountains, and that's about all we're going to worry about today. I don't know if y'all can see that. I mean, I just used a drawing pencil. I'm going to use a number 24 round. And yes, I do like my big brushes. Now I'm just going to use a uh, Prussian blue for the sky. I'll just water it down. Now I've got water off to the side in a deal. I mean, this is just trying to get used to your paints and your brush it's just a little simple exercise that anybody can do and it's just learning how your paints gonna work with your paper and all like I said these is new to me I do like them and then I'm just going to take a paper towel, make some clouds, like so. Easy peasy, huh? Now I'm going, I'm going to mix some um, uh, red or um, rose, red lake, crimson red lake with that and make a pom pom. And yes, you can use the violet. I mean, I'm just being, I'm just, but, I mean, the more you learn, you know, uh, what will mix, and what color will come out, and I'm just going around my lines, and then I'm just going to bring it down. I'm just going to go in, put it on the gap, make these a little bit darker. And if you can see your lines, that's fine. I mean, sometimes it bugs me and sometimes it don't. Okay, now I'm going in with the uh, Prussian Blue. And I'm going to mix some lemon yellow. I need to get my brush clean. Maybe I got it clean that time. Maybe not. Hang on, let me get some of this off. I got more water in my brush than I do anywhere. And each blue makes a different yeah, uh, green. And yes, you can use, you know, your zap green, your dark green, whatever. I I get that. But sometimes it's fun just to mix. And if you got a limited palette or whatever, it's even more fun to mix. 
Now I'm just going in, making this green. And this might need to be a little bit off. But I'm just doing a full ground. We're going to go in and do some other stuff to this. So, don't get it so perfect that you can't, you don't want to mess it up. Okay, now I'm going to dry it with a heat gun. Brad. Now I'm going in with a small brush if I can find one. I'm going into it with a 16. And I'm going to use my brown or brown, um, brown, whatever color you call this today. And I'm going to mix it. And I'm just going to draw just like a, a tree on here. And I'm freehanding all of this, y'all. And if y'all know me, I cannot draw 98% of the time. Let's make this go this way. And then just go in and And like I said, this is just easy to turn, uh, easy painting. Don't have to, I mean, yeah, you have to kind of think about it a little bit because of the fact that it is harder than you think just to show on a blank canvas and or blank piece of watercolor paper and go. I want this a little bit more green on. Okay. Now for this part right here, you have a high rising line. And excuse my dogs. Shush. I'm going to make more green. And I clean my palettes pretty about after each painting. If y'all want to know, uh, I use uh, just rubbing alcohol on them. And they clean up nicely. Any of my palettes, I use rubbing alcohol. It just seems to work for me. And I'm just going in and just blotting these trees. I might just grab a little bit. Make this. I guess I can use the blue. Make this a little bit darker. More of a blue green then. Okay. Yeah. And just going in and just moving my brush up and down. Like so. And y'all, I never know if these is going to come out. I promise you. Like I said, this is just something easy, fast. Well, maybe not too fast today. How's the New Year's treating y'all? And just go around that tree. I hear it. Y'all hear the puppies? They are growing like crazy. They're getting so big. 
but they about ready to leave home. Okay, now I'm going in with yellow oak on my tree. And yeah, I'm jumping around because I'm letting stuff dry. But I'm going to mix it with this brown and make more of a falsiana. But this is going to give us the highlights we need. Well, I say that and I'm going to make a mess. On my tree. Okay, that being done, we are going to add a little bit more yellow to this. Now I'm going to add more blue. Get the color I want. Make sure I have enough. Okay. Now I'm just going in and I'm just using the tip of my big brush for this. Some more off of it, and I'm just gonna make my grass just like so. And like I said, this is not nothing hard to do. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. I promise you. Just make your grass as long as you want. I mean, if you want it all over the page, go for it. This is just a pre. I mean, this is just helping you on different techniques and how your water corners works with uh, your painting. And I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of mixing if you want to. If you don't, don't. Now I'm just going to go up in my trees and kind of do some more grass. I'm just going to do grass all over the Okay, now I'm going to take my sea sponge and make my leaves for my tree. And this is maybe harder than it looks on such a small paper. But now I'm going in with some green yellow. I'm just going to dab it. And I don't want. Going in with some red. Well, I am going in with some red. Get that wet. Now I have a nasty hand. <laughs> That's the only thing about using those sponges. You, your hands get so nasty. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. 
Now I'm going in with some dark green on my grass. I'm just and just give it some highlights. Like I said, this may come out. It may not. If not, you I won't get to see it. I promise you. And I'm not saying I know exactly what I'm doing because I don't. Okay, I'm going to use some Zap Green. Mix this all up. And I'm going to just use my uh, round and make leaves. This is still wet. Let me dry this for this one. Well, you can tell what I've done. Okay, let's try this again. This ain't coming out like I want it. There we go. I just didn't have enough paint on my brush. And that's all I'm doing. It's just, but make sure you got paint on, I mean, for it to show up, you got to have paint on your brush. Okay, let's go in with some all out. Let's go in with some yellow. Can you hear those puppies playing? I promise you they are playing. I'm just going in with some yellow for the grass. I mean, let's say it's dead and win them. Now let's go in with some red. I don't think I got some. <laughs> UPS. <laughs> Hush. And now I'm going to just add some red down here. Now I'm going back in with some zap.
I'm going to call this done. I think. I don't know. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I'll catch y'all later.